everyone, so voiceover, that's kind of strange, <laughs> don't tend to do these very often, but I thought it would work best with today's video, which is going to be a three healthy breakfast ideas video. There's a mix of sweet and savoury in there, some recipes that I've shown you before, but I've tweaked a little bit here, and you can all meal prep these the night before as well, so it's like minimal faff in the morning. But the first one is this cherry bakewell kind of birch and muesli thing, and for that you're going to need oats, you're going to need almond milk or whatever milk you wish to use, some yogurt, and then also some chia seeds, again these are kind of optional, some maple syrup if you fancy sweetening it a bit, and then some ground almonds, and a bit of almond extract, and also some cherries. I could only get my hands on frozen cherries, but if you've got fresh, that's obviously better, but also dried is good as well. And this is so easy to make, because you literally take everything, put it in a Tupperware box, and give it a little bit of a stir, and then the next morning it makes this really creamy, like porridgey, thick, just very delicious breakfast. So yeah, I'm just throwing everything in, um, everything will be down below in the description box, all of the exact amounts and exact instructions, because I'm probably not going to be able to talk through everything here, but I find that the ground almond just makes a bit of like a marzy panny almondy taste, and then also in, once you put the extract in as well, yeah, you can see me doing that. Not very uh, exact, just doing a couple of capfuls, and then also throwing in half of the cherries. These are frozen and I've just defrosted them, couldn't get fresh in the supermarket. Give it all a good stir, like pop the top on the top, and then throw it in the fridge. I find this works best if you do it the evening before and then eat it kind of 12 hours later, so in the morning, but if you leave it 24 hours, that is cool as well. Leave it in there, and then when it's ready to serve the next morning, you just wanna take it out and then just serve it. Like what I've put here makes kind of one gigantic serving or two kind of more mini servings. So I kind of poured basically all of it into my bowl here and then I just dressed it with a couple of dried cherries on the top and then also put some of my defrosted cherries in as well. I tried to do that Instagram thing of like making everything in a row much more difficult <laughs> than it looks. I also put a couple of flaked almonds on top here but you could basically do whatever you want. You don't have to add these, they're just a bit of a topping, make it look nice, make it taste a bit nicer but yeah, basically throw it all on top, makes it look lovely a really lovely hearty breakfast that's gonna keep you nice and full. Now the next recipe are for breakfast muffins and I've shown these on my blog before so I will link up the recipe down below but you're just gonna want some bacon, some feta cheese, some eggs, and a white onion or a red onion, whatever you've got hanging around, and then whatever seasonings you fancy. I love garlic granules, onion powder, and then a bit of salt and pepper. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fry off your bacon. I used about eight-ish rashers, but you can use less, you can use more. I mean, you can actually fill these with whatever you want. It's basically just an omelet in the shape of a muffin, but I just fry that off, I like it nice and crispy. So then I chop my white onion, like I said, if you've got a red onion, that's completely cool too. Desperately trying not to cut my fingers, as I always feel like I'm gonna do when I chop onions. And then you just pop your nicely fried off bacon into a bowl, leave that to cool a bit, and then just throw your onions back in the same pan. And you can add your seasonings here if you want, I tend to use them a bit later on. But just fry them off until they're a bit translucent and nice and soft, and then add them to your little bowl that you've also got your bacon in. So throwing that in there. You could use whatever fillings or flavorings you want. I just personally like this combination of the onion with the bacon and the feta cheese. I think it tastes really, really good. But then you're gonna wanna put all of your eggs in a bowl. There are a lot of eggs. Good thing with eggs, you count the yolks and you know how many you've put in. I think it was about eight. Definitely did lose count at one point. And then you're just gonna give it all a nice whisk together and then I actually crumbled up some feta cheese in at this point. I love feta cheese, so I kind of went a bit mad. I think I used about half a block, but I just think that it tastes absolutely delicious. Then pop your onions and your bacon in. I have done this with red pepper before and done more of like a vegetable one. That was really nice as well. I'm just popping my flavorings at this point, giving it another good stir. I put a lot of garlic granules in. I'm all about the garlic. And then you're just gonna wanna put the mixture into a silicon muffin mold. A silicon muffin mold is very important in this recipe. I've tried many different ways to cook these and all end up horrendously, end up sticking to the tin, end up sticking to the muffin cases. This just solves all of those problems. They literally lift out at the end. And because I've only got one that's got six in it, it's a bit annoying, I had to do it in two batches because this makes 12 muffins in total. But you're just gonna pull and pop those in the oven for 17 minutes, I think it was. Yep, 17 minutes. Now this is very cool. I was pretty proud of myself for this footage. They do rise a lot in the oven. Don't freak out. When you bring them out, they kind of go back down and end up like little mini flat pancake things. That's completely cool. Take them out after the 17 minutes 
and this is what you end up with. They are delicious, let me tell you. They're basically mini breakfast muffin slash omelettes and you can serve them with whatever you fancy, but I really like them with a tomato and avocado salad. It's just a nice alternative for when I'm fancying a breakfast that isn't sweet, but I just want something that's gonna fill me up and I tend to just pop these back in the oven just to reheat them on the morning that I want them. Serve them with salad done. So the final recipe is a quinoa porridge like an apple sauce on top so you're obviously going to want your quinoa and then some kind of sweetener. I personally like to use honey and then some ground cinnamon, also some almond milk, I like the unsweetened one, some cooking apples and then also one orange and I really like this breakfast because it's just something a bit different to porridge and the apple sauce is really handy to have around because you can use it for baking, you can use it to snack on, a bit of everything. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pop your washed quinoa into a pan Washing quinoa is a nightmare. It goes everywhere, it has to be done, but I'm literally finding quinoa like behind my ears. Then I add in my almond milk. You can use whatever milk you fancy, it's just my personal favorite. Pop it on a stove, give it a little stir, keep it on like a low heat and keep an eye on it so it doesn't simmer over the top, but that's just gonna thicken up. Then you're gonna wanna get onto your applesauce. Obviously you only need to do this the first time you're making your applesauce because this makes a huge batch. But just take the cores out and then cube up your apples and then take your orange and then just squeeze all the juice out. I find this so ridiculously satisfying. Then pop in a bit of cinnamon. You can use whatever you fancy, like maybe a bit of nutmeg as well. That would be really tasty. And then a little tiny drizzle of honey just to take the kind of tart edge off of it. You're gonna pop that in a pan. Pop it on like a medium to high heat. This stuff heats up quickly. It doesn't need long, like five to 10 minutes max until it turns into mush, like the mush that you see here. I like mine really smooth and pureed, so I just pop it in the food processor, although you could just leave it there if you fancied. Doesn't take long, give it a minute or two, and it just makes this very smooth, kind of a little bit sour, a little bit sweet, depends what apples you use in it, but it's really handy to have in your fridge. I make sure that I've always got this in my fridge because it just jazzes up really like boring mueslis and granolas and porridges like this one. <laughs> I mean, not that it's boring, but it doesn't look the nicest, does it? But it just thickens up to make this porridgey type texture. Then it is ready to serve. Add it in your bowl. I mean, this makes about one portion, but you can obviously make more and then leave it in your fridge and leave it till when you wanna heat it up. I tend to make like two batches at a time. Then I pop my little applesauce on top. I put a big dollop on because I'm a big fan of this applesauce. And then I just sprinkled a couple of crushed walnuts on top and then also sprinkled on a bit of cinnamon just because I was being like well fancy. And that is it. It's good to go. It's a really nice alternative to porridge and very protein dense as well. Like this will keep you full. I feel like the only way to film voiceovers is like in your pajamas with day old makeup and greasy hair. So definitely tick that box. But I thought I would quickly check in to say number one, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. It's taken me hours to make and hours to do that voiceover. Like how did that take so long? It's now like seven o'clock on a Friday night. Seriously, what am I doing? But I also wanted to check in to say that Lily and I announced something very exciting yesterday on our blogs. I will link the blog post down below. In the top line of the description box, I have all of the information that you actually need to know because I'm probably just gonna ramble and like babble on about it now. But we are so happy to be raising some more money for Look Go Feel Better and we're gonna do that through two events that we're holding at Liberty. You know Liberty of London, that like amazing place that at the end of the month, there are two and the first one is like unticketed, free to come, everybody just come along. There's gonna be Prosecco and canapes and beauty treatments and just all of your favorite brands. And we are so, so excited to be there. We'll be mingling, chatting, hugging, whatever you wanna do. And then the second one is gonna be held on a Sunday and it's gonna be an afternoon tea at Liberty, like in a little private room. There's not gonna be that many of us. And you're gonna get a goodie bag and you're gonna get the most amazing afternoon tea with like scones and little finger sandwiches and all that kind of stuff. And for that one, you do need to buy a ticket. So all of the information for how you can buy a ticket will be in the blog post because it's just this, you know. <sighs> I haven't spoken to anyone in the outside world for a very <laughs> long time. But anyway, all the information is there. I hope that you guys can come. We would obviously love to meet as many of you as we possibly can and raise money for an amazing charity. So thank you for watching this video. I'll be back on Sunday with a brand new video, which will be my Barcelona vlog. Very excited about that one. So I'll see you then. Bye.